Hey guys, it's Celeste here from Lazy JX Ranch. So today I just got my new Be Well Planner for 2020. And so I wanted to do a... <laughs> She's playing with the bubble wrap. I wanted to do a more detailed flip through. I did a flip through just real quick on um, the unboxing. But I wanted to do a more detailed flip through. Let's change the lighting here just a little. Um, anyway, so without further ado, so the first thing that I like totally attracted me to this planner was actually the cover. Um, it's so simple and so beautiful. So pretty. So it says, new year, new feels, new chances, same dreams, fresh starts in gold foil. So we just have to take a minute and appreciate all of that. Oh, there we go. So I actually did have access to... Uh, Kind of a basic overview of all the products that are coming out before um, the beginning of January of 2020 and you know there was a few wellness layouts that are coming besides this but this one was by far my favorite it was so beautiful and I wasn't even going to do a wellness layout um, I was just going to stick with the vertical layout um, for my journaling but um, this was just so, so pretty. So pretty. So I had to pick it up. And I think I'll enjoy all the journaling prompts. So this is the inside cover. Just these little, I don't know, scallops, I guess. And it says, every day is a fresh start. This Happy Planner Wellness Edition belongs to Plan a Happy Life 2020. And you have 2020, 2000, yeah, 2020, 2021. And it says, take care of you first. Set your intentions for the year and fall in love with taking care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit. And it says, set your intention for the year, fall in love with taking care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit. So this is kind of your intentions for two, two, 2020. <laughs> That's just weird. 2002. I almost said 2002. <laughs> so for 2020. <laughs> and this would be your intentions for 2021. Okay, so you would you would do this after... Um, like probably in December of 2020, yeah, 2020. Okay. So then you get into your perpetual calendar, which all of the 2020, um, planners are supposed to have this. So I'm super, super excited because this will mean that I can just carry around a month at a time. Um, cause I do Franken plan. And so like my catch all planner, I actually will carry three or four months at a time, but with all of these perpetual calendars coming out, I can carry just one month at a time because if anything comes up that I need to write down for the future, I could just write it in the perpetual calendar and then transfer it to the layout when it's that time. So you have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So it's broken up into the four quarters. So this would be your first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. Okay. Of 2020. So the currently page is January goals one, two, and three. Write an encouraging note to yourself in grid or dot grid um, and then you have your holidays here with room to write more important dates it says how I'm strengthening my mind how I'm strengthening my body and what I'm loving about myself 
This says you can't go back and make a new start, but you can start right now and make a brand new ending. Okay. Oh, so on the perpetual calendar, so where this is the wellness planner, you could record how you were feeling that day, if that makes sense. If you didn't want to put it in your weekly layout right here, you could record it right here, if that makes sense. Since you wouldn't actually be doing a whole lot of planning in this, this is more just wellness. So January, it says take care of you first. And then it gives you a journaling prompt. It says happiness. Make a list of all the things that make you happy. So this you could kind of use as your word for the month. You know. <laughs> it's a little loud, sorry. So you could use the word happiness as your word for the month. Okay. In this section, I would probably record the good things that happened that day. If that makes sense. Okay, and then it does give you a little bit of area to journal right there. So in each box, I would just write, you know, with bullet points, you know, I didn't kill the kids today. <laughs> the kids had three meals today. That's a win. Yeah. <laughs> so right here it says, keep growing, keep going. Okay, and then it just says January. You have some check boxes right here um, and some dot grid right there. This says intention, this says nourish, this says movement, this says take note, and then you have reflection, today was, thankful for, focusing on, looking inward, daily gratitude, joy of today. Um, so when I did the unboxing, I kind of mentioned you could use this as a wellness and a healthy hero type layout, the fitness layout. Because you could, like, break this into three sections. So you could say, how am I nourishing my body today? You know, like, um, like, uh, you know, what did I eat for breakfast? What did I have for lunch? What did I have for dinner? And then you could have a section, how did I nourish my spirit today? You know, um, I meditated for five minutes. Um, you know, and how are you uh, nourishing your mind today? You could say, well, I read Think and Grow Rich, you know, that kind of thing. And then this movement, it could be like, you know, how did you move towards your goals? How did you move towards, you know, um, becoming a better person today? So you could interpret the movement as that. Or you could say, okay, um, track your activities here, like your, um, your workouts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so you could track, like, your workouts, how many steps you took that day, um, that kind of stuff. And you could also track how many, you know, how you slept, if you have a way to track that. Like, I have my watch that tracks that for me. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? So, all the weeklies... Are pretty much the same so February we turn to a green color you have February goals one two and three how am I strengthening my mind how am I strengthening my body what I'm loving about myself here's holidays and it gives you room to write important dates write an encouraging note to yourself I love that section with a dot grid paper no one is more worthy of love and kindness. We are all people in progress. <laughs> okay, so for February, your word of the month could be discover. So, you know, you could just kind of plan the entire month around that word, like as far as wellness goes. Um, and wellness is meant to be balanced. It's meant to be mind, body, and spirit. Um, in, uh, Waddles, Warren D. Waddles book, The Science of Getting Rich, um, he talks about, you know, um, like being unbalanced, okay? In order to be truly well, you have to be balanced in all areas. You want to have 
your mind be as strong as your body as your spirit does that make sense like um when you have the people that become so wealthy but they've neglected their family they've neglected their relationships they've neglected their body you know is that person really rich not really not really at all but you know and then you have these people that spend their entire life at church and doing church things and doing service and everything else that they've neglected their their body and their mind you know that person really isn't that rich either does that make sense in order to be really really rich you have to have not only wealth i mean you know financial wealth is part of it of being balanced right um not only wealth but you know you you have healthy relationships you have um a healthy body you have a healthy mind you know um that kind of stuff and a healthy spirit so yeah you do have to i mean it's you know all part of it so when you're doing this planner you have to keep that in mind that in in order to be truly healthy in order to be truly wealthy in order to be truly happy we have to have you know you have to have all of those areas strengthened um so anyways keep that in mind okay so we have more check boxes dot grid intention for the day how are you nourishing yourself your movement Okay, and, and like journaling prompts, okay? All in the little light green colors. So all of these boxes are kind of like a greenish color. Uh-oh, are you okay? And the grid, yeah, it's kind of a greenish color and the dot grid is a greenish color. So March, you kind of go into more of a light purple. Okay, you still have write an encouraging note to yourself, important dates, what I'm loving about myself, how I'm strengthening my body, how I'm strengthening my mind, and your goals. And actually, in thinking about this, as I'm using this, these goals, one would be, what are my goals for my mind this month? What are my goals for my body this month? And what are my goals for my soul this month okay um and and when it says what am i loving about myself you can't really love yourself if you're not in tune with that spiritual part of yourself i love the quote you know we are not humans having a spiritual experience we're spirits having a human experience so you are not your body if that makes sense. And you are not really even your mind. You are your spirit. Your spirit is who you are. So anyways, it's important to learn to love yourself. So when it says, what am I loving about myself? This is actually the spiritual aspect about it. So your story is unique and so, so different and not worthy of comparison. Very beautiful. So March... It's giving you the word focus as your word of the month. If you chose, you could chose, choose any word. Um, it's practice mindfulness and be present. Okay. So all the colors on this page are a purplish color. I think, well, this is kind of a green. It's this kind of that same color green. That's purple. And this is a lighter purple. These dots are a light purple coming from the lady who's colorblind. So, <laughs> Danny's at work. Okay, so now we kind of have this peachy color. So, April goals, mind, body, soul. Uh, holidays, important dates, write an encouraging note to yourself. You are made of stardust and wishes and magical things in a rose gold foil. Okay, so the word of the month would be meditate. Take a few minutes to free your mind and boost your mood. Okay. 
Okay, so this is kind of like a purple color, um, a dark peach with a light peach, and then kind of like, I don't know, like a pink. Yeah. <laughs> You can do that your class? Okay. I'm kind of excited that it's like a worldwide church initiative this year where um, my church is encouraging us parents to teach our kids how to not only make goals but accomplish goals and that we're supposed to work together as a family and with God to help them accomplish these goals and it actually breaks it up into four different sections you have spiritual social intellectual and physical and Jesus <laughs> so um yeah I'm pretty excited about that that they're encouraging us parents to help them make these goals and achieve them and to work with God to achieve them. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. Sorry to anybody who's an atheist who's kind of upset that I brought up God. But it is who I am. <laughs> and I didn't say it to offend you. Okay. It, yeah, there he is. You put your butter knife in there. So we have rose gold. Okay. Return to simple and slow. And you have the green tint here. So this says unplug. Unplug from the world and spend time with yourself. So if I was going to use this, uh-oh. If I was going to use this as kind of my word of the month, I would kind of think every day, what can I do to kind of unplug? You know, so that would be kind of the word that would be the focus point of the day just kind of what can I do to unplug so here we have the greens um this is kind of more of an aqua green this is like just your regular green with a light green uh -uh -uh. and this is a dark green coming from the girl who's colorblind okay. <laughs> stop do not stick the butter knife inside my printer you burped. What do you say when you burp? What do you say? Say goose me. There you go. So we have purple. That's kind of a really, really pretty color right there. So fall in love with becoming the best version of yourself. So the word of the month would be confidence. Take note of any negative thoughts and turn them around. So we just have a really light purple, a dark purple with a lighter purple, and then just a different color purple. I don't know. <laughs> And it stays that same theme throughout the month. Now we're going back to the peach. I am going to take a very beautiful, make, okay. I am going to make a very beautiful life for myself, no matter what it takes or how long it takes. Okay. This says organize. Keep all your mental and physical spaces free of clutter. That's going to take a while. Yep. <laughs> but I think, you know, when you see stuff like this and you're like, er, guilty. <laughs> um, I think the important thing is not to beat yourself up. Because you'll never get better if you're beating yourself up. So same theme. And all the colors just go so beautifully with these discs. Okay, so now we go back to green. Decide every morning that you are in a good mood. 
So the word of the month would be love. Take time to do what you love and enjoy every moment. I love working with my horses, but I always talk myself out of it. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard when you have horses and little kids. It's really, really hard because it's like, ugh, do you know how much effort it's going to take to go and work with this horse while my toddler's playing in the dirt? <laughs> you know, and it's like, and then she's, mom, I got to pee. Mom, 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 mom. So as mothers, we tend to put ourselves on the back burner and I need to stop doing that. So we have purple. With a really cute, like, turquoise foil. And our word yeah, of the my month. Got my saddle and pink rope. Yes, you have a saddle and a pink rope and a horse named Chalk. Yep. So the word of the month is learn. Schedule time to learn something new. So that would be kind of my focus every day is what can Mom. I do to learn today? Like what, Mom. what would I like Mom. to learn today? <sighs> I love this color scheme with the light greens and the purples. It's cute. Stinking adorable. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> So October is peach, okay? And then you have the, the watercolor brush strokes like on the front, but it says take it day by day. <gasps> October's word would be inspiration. Find what motivates and inspires you. Or I guess it could be find who inspires you. Find those people in your life that inspire you. Surround yourself by them as much as you can. Okay, so November goes back to the green. This is really cute. Light blue. Did it smack you? There. All better. <laughs> Create beautiful things that bring joy and happiness. Ooh, and the word is gratitude. Think positively. Express gratitude and love others. You love my nails. How can I do that? How can I do that? How can I do that? It was fingernail polish. The sparkles. It's a fingernail polish. So December goes back to the purple. It says, stop waiting for Friday, for summer, for someone to fall in love with you, and for life. Happiness is achieved when you stop waiting for it and make the most of the moment you are in right now. So the word is joy. Let go of worry, regret, and fear. Find joy in every day. I am so going to love this planner. My green here is here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where's my pot? Oh, oh there's your boon. That's my pot. <laughs> okay, so here's the back note section. Okay, ah. hey. Here's the back cover with the cute little scallops. And then your watercolor brush strokes right there. And it just says the happy planner from me and my big ideas. So anyways, if there's anything I missed in this planner um, that you wanted to see, will you please leave me a comment below? I can make another video if I need to. Um, or just kind of highlight it in a different video. But anyways, I felt like that was as detailed as I could get. Um, without it being like three hours long, but it's a beautiful planner. I think it's very well laid out, very well thought of, very functional, and I think it's really going to help me grow this coming year. Um, very excited, very, very excited. So, 
Um, anyways, I hope you liked this flip through, this detailed flip through. Um, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos of this beautiful planner. I will try and do as many um, plan with me's as I can in this. Um, some of the books that the sticker books that I got with this order, like the encouragement and the boss babe, there's a lot of um, stickers in there that I can use. And some of the stickers that I already have that I can use um, with this. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you loved about this planner, anything that you wanted to see more of in this planner that I maybe skipped over too fast or whatever. So anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye. Bye.